Hi, my name is Grant Sayer. I'm an M1 golf professional based at Maidenhead Golf Centre. Over the next six weeks, I'm going to be giving you some drills and exercises that you can put into practice when you're down at the range. I hope they're very successful. Okay, the first thing we'll be talking about today is uh, warm up. If we get the uh, muscles working correctly, so their full potential, obviously, we're going to be able to increase club head speed. We're going to hit the ball a little bit further, which is vital for all golfers. What I'd like you to do is place the club behind your head like so, and then gently move the hands back in one straight line. You should feel a gentle pull on the front of the shoulders. Hold there for a couple of seconds and return back to the head. Repeat this process three or four times. The second of these exercises is for the tricep muscle, very important muscle for the golf swing itself. I'd like you to just put your hands above the head and then with one hand try and get it behind the head and then with the lower hand I just want you to pull on the club slightly. You should feel a slight stretching on the tricep muscle. Just hold this for a few seconds and then I want you to repeat the process on the opposite side. Again, just pulling down on the lower hand. The third exercise I'm going to take you through is a gentle warm up for the hamstrings, the glutes and it's a way to gently loosen up the lower back. Have our feet shoulders width, hold on to each end of the golf club like so. I want us to then bend down, try and touch our toes, keeping our legs nice and straight. On our return, halfway point, I want us to twist to one side. Back to the beginning, down to the toes, up to the halfway point and then the opposite side. The final exercise is one to give you the feeling of the correct motion of a golf swing, really stabilising the core muscles um, and the feeling of twisting or torsion in a golf swing. What I want you to do for me is hold on to each end of the golf club, have our feet shoulders width, a little bit of knee flex, a little bit of tilt from the waist, something very much resembling our golf setup. Club out in front for me. What's quite important is that we keep our belt buckle facing forward to stop the hips from moving. And all I want us to do is make our back swing, resisting with the lower half, and forward swing, resisting with the lower half. Notice how my midsection really isn't moving that much. So I'm getting a real good feeling on torsion in the golf swing. Once you're comfortable, I want you to just start increasing the pace. Try and aim to do about 10 to 15 repetitions of each of those four exercises. Once completed, you should be ready to go out to the range and hit some balls. Join us next week for the next stage, which is alignment.